Hi everyone, so welcome to Harsha Trainings and myself Harsha. This video is about Pega knowledge sharing. And many people, uh, those who are working in IT industry and on any technology like Java, .NET or Pega or maybe any UI programming uh, in combination with the business logic and database, they must be aware of the application architecture. So there is a common question in many of the interviews that explain about your application architecture. So what is meant by application architecture? So application architecture generally means that so the business application that when a business user is trying to access by using a browser and using URL, then from the browser, how the request will go to the respective application server. So in this video, you are going to get across the different uh, uh, terminology related to application, application server, LDAP and also like browser and uh, even uh, the other things like web.xml file Th these are the different terminology that we are going to come across in this video and this video clearly explains you about the process that is going to be done the moment when a url is being posted in the browser and when you hit enter how the request from the client browser is going to reach out to the application server and how the application is going to get loaded on the uh, loaded in the browser of the uh, client. So this is what you are going to learn in this video. So uh, let's get on to the PRPC environment. But before we proceed uh, there, don't forget to subscribe our channel or you have some questions related to the Pegat PRPC technology. Post your questions in the comment section below and call us on the given numbers scrolling in this video. So now let's get on to PRPC environment to understand clearly about what is an application architecture. What is the architecture of Pega Rules Process Commander's application? So before you understand about the architecture of Pega Rules Process Commander application, everyone should have to think about two different terms called authentication and authorization. Authentication and what is the other one? Authorization. Authentication, authorization. See, authentication means, authentication means, this is the very, very verifying the access, verifying the access at whole system level, whole system level. What does it mean? Whole system level means, I'll explain. Authorization means verifying the access at each individual components okay let me tell you an example simple example uh, okay just in real life let's take uh, like a building physical building okay imagine there is a building let's say dlf building is there in dlf building okay one building is there, let's say Tata Consultancy Services. That is a whole building for Tata, I mean like TCS employees. And inside that building, you have different wings. Imagine we have wing one for IT employees, wing two for, for HR managers, and wing three for maybe other financial teams. Wing four is for RMG, like uh, recruitment process and other things. I mean like projects who will get the projects and all that is a business team four wings are there see every employee when they get into that uh, uh, building at the very uh, uh, at the entrance of the building they have to swipe their id card so all the employees whoever is entering there they have to swipe the id card at the entrance gate of the building and if the swiping is successful you are allowed inside you are authenticated to enter into the TCS office building. Okay, you are authenticated to enter into premises. Okay, this is irrespective of, who, of what designation and which wing you belong to. So everyone should have to pass on with this authentication process. Everyone will be allowed whoever is going to pass on. Means you are an authenticated person to enter into the premises. That is authentication the whole uh, premises level it is happening 
after you enter inside the building there are four wings you have to get into one of the wing right now you are a developer it team you go to it wing there again swiping is there okay you swipe it swiping is successfully uh, done then you are authorized to enter into that particular it wing this person when he go to hr wing when he swipe the card the access will be restricted you are not authorized to enter into this particular uh, wing because you belong to some other wing okay so authorization is to the specific portions of the application i mean like system and authentication is for entire system at entire system level you are authenticated to enter into inside once you enter you are authorized to access only the specific uh, components like we regularly see this another example suppose if you are going to uh, get into a restaurant when you visit a restaurant every customer is allowed to get into restaurant so you are authenticated there but there will be some uh, some rooms where the cooks will be preparing the food and uh, customers not authorized or unauthorized access or restricted access like that they will be keeping the boards and all so that particular premise inside will be accessible only to the employees of that particular restaurant but not everyone else allowed to so uh, but everyone else is allowed to enter into the whole premise but in, inside after you enter some of the restricted areas you cannot enter that is authorization you are not authorized so authentication is the whole system level you enter into one business okay and inside a business the individual components are authorization understand everyone clear now while we are working with prpc here in prpc we have authentication to be done see the login which we are doing this login hold on i will just log off and show you this login is authentication to get into prpc environment this login after i log in i have 10 applications but can i access all 10 no i will be allowed to access only very few of the applications understand so whichever that i have access to and authentication will be done in enterprise application development at the whole system level for that there is a separate setup okay i will open a diagram and show you hold on this question may be asked during interviews anywhere you see something like that authorization application architecture okay application architecture you see this diagram there are five different blocks first one is browser second one is sign in place login screen third one is some server where you have login ids and password stored fourth one is the web server we discussed about load balancing server right that is the one and fifth one is the server where actual application is deployed this is the high level the typical architecture of your application in your enterprise application development business users will connect or access the application by the by using browser so they will give the url in the browser the moment they give the url they will get the login screen they enter the credentials and then successful everything correct credentials then you are allowed to enter into and you will go to application server and application will get loaded right so from a browser the first prpc will take the request to a server called single sign on server it will not directly take to pega application server first request will go to single sign on server let me tell you what is meant by single sign on okay you tell me about security okay you tell me about this let me ask you one question imagine not imagine 
in your day to day life that you see right gmail there for google there are different products i mean like for alphabet company there are n number of products i'll tell you the names of the products first product is gmail second product is google photos third product is google drive and the fourth product is google adsense fifth product is google adwords like this multiple products are there right if you want to log into any one of these products the login screen for all these products when you observe it is the same login screen any one of these alphabet products if you try to log in the login screen will be same there won't be any difference if you type gmail.com the login screen that you get and if you type adsense.com dot google dot google dot adsense dot com the login screen you get is same and if you type adwords related url the login screen you get will be same this login screen that is getting displayed is a single entrance to enter into google server one entrance place you have five different entrance will there be any security for a building you have five entrance security is red. having one single entrance place having five different entrances which one is highly secure single entrance right same concept will be used in uh, this one also like in the software application development so one single entrance place is called as single sign on for any application of my uh, organization the login screen is same but that login screen will not be developed in the respect to application related technology see i have five applications five applications one application developed in dotnet another application developed in java another application is in mainframes another not mainframes another application in some other technology one application is in pega one is in maybe salesforce like this five different technology applications for all applications login screen will not be created on application server login screen you may create in normal html coding and all and you place this login screen as a first screen to be displayed in single sign on server so whenever users are going to enter a request url in the browser it will go to single sign on server and login screen will get displayed okay now login screen is displayed you enter username and password this is whole organization level username and password will be maintained in a separate directory okay that is usually the most widely being used directory for maintaining usernames and passwords is ldap lightweight directory access protocol ldap is stands for lightweight directory access protocol and once you type the url you will get a login screen when it hits the single sign on server after you enter the username and password process commander will i mean like the system will verify ldap directory this username and password is there if it is there it will forward the request to web server load balancing server and from load balancing server it will hit the application server on the application server look at here on the application server tom get application server here Hmm. Where is that folder? Anyone remember the folder path? Page um, web.xml yeah this file will be hit web.xml file will be getting a hit so when you log in the request will go from single sign on and it will verify in ldap and thereafter it will go to another web server and web server routes the request to respect to application server on the application server it will read web dot web dot xml file in the web.xml file it is going to read a servlet by name what is the servlet name pr servlet it is not mandatory to be same you can change the name in the web.xml file and servlet name servlets will be created by java people usually okay servlet pr servlet it lead so in the pr servlet when it hits hold on what is our id humor.com right 
so it is going to read the information about authentication service there is one rule called authentication service let me open that and show you authentication service i'll show you the basic one in the authentication service there is one authentication activity and time out activity open authentication activity here you see for valid credentials it says okay obj open it is doing it will verify the ldap credentials and all okay and then it will do obj open on which table operator id table having obj open on operator id table means the login id which you are providing password with that matching there is a record available in obj open or not operator id it is there then it will load the access group from here you know operator to access group access group after after access group application 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 after rule sets and then rules right so application portal and access roles all that will be given so like this request will travel from browser to load the application that is from browser request will go to single sign on server where it will verify the credentials in ldap directory and thereafter it will go to web server web server to application server on application server pr server web.xml file web.xml file pr server it is going to read in the pr server it will reach the authentication service name in the authentication service authentication activity will get executed which will look up the operator table if operator is available what is the access group and based on the access group it will load application portal and access roles this is what overall your application architecture if they ask you question you need to respond with this answer the application architecture diagram and the video which i have told just now i am recording it right i will upload this video today okay so this is generally this architecture is same for even java applications this architecture mostly same for even dotnet applications instead of the name pr servlet the servlet may be different in dotnet you don't have servlet equivalent to servlet there will be something else right that will be there okay so like this you have to deal with this uh, like application architecture when they ask a question in interviews